It's an unfinished border wall that was contracted to be 400 miles long. This is an apparent bid to thwart new GOP legislation, which calls for the federal government to either use the material or give, them, uh, give the states that will. That's New Mexico, Texas, or Arizona, or California. Now, keep in mind, this passed, the Senate, it was a Republican-sponsored bill, but it passed with Democratic support. It just needed to be offered to the House and passed in the fall. Senator Tom Cotton joins us now. He sponsored the legislation. Senator, this is outrageous what's going on. Brian, it really is outrageous. You can't make it up. The Biden administration inherited around $260 million worth of border construction materials from the Trump administration. They immediately put it in storage on day one when Donald or when Joe Biden said he wasn't going to build the wall. They've now paid $300 million to store it for two years, more than the cost of the material themselves. But as soon as Senate Republicans, led by Senator Roger Wicker, who uh, is the leader of Republicans on the Armed Services Committee, began poking around and asking questions about it earlier this year, the administration began to sell these materials for less than two cents on the dollar. The legislation that you mentioned is Senator Wicker's legislation, which I was pleased to join. It was added unanimously by Democrats on the Armed Services Committee to our annual defense bill. And now the administration is racing to try to sell off all of these materials because they would rather have taxpayers take a massive loss of hundreds of millions of dollars than give them to the governor of Texas, for instance, to build the border wall or to allow them to be sitting around and used to build a border wall when Republicans take back the White House in January of 2025. So this is pure vengeance. No one thinks that a wall solves all the problems, but it blocks and it funnels to other areas which can be staffed. And they're not fully staffed. They're being overwhelmed. We pay for this, and they're wasting this. This Gov Planet line auction house has picked up the pace, as you mentioned. They have sold 81 slots already, 30 feet high, for $154 million of the $260 million bollard fence. So this is awful. Anybody buying this scrap steel, it's an unpatriotic <laughs> move. If you care about our nation's borders, if you are a major corporation, don't show up for this auction. Yeah, Brian, and apparently the administration is trying to silence the auction house as well. You know, this is a, a fairly typical operation for things like excess meals ready to eat or excess ponchos. That's why we have army surplus stores around the country that sell these materials. It's a horse of a different color when you're talking about barrier material to try to protect our southern border. I mean, in the last two years, Joe Biden has allowed at least 250 people on the terrorist watch list to arrive at our southern border. That's not even counting the people who the Border Patrol didn't catch. Uh, catch. So we have no idea how many terrorists have entered our country. At the same time, we're selling uh, this material for pennies on the dollar. I, that's kind of Bidenomics in a nutshell, the total lack of common sense. Yeah, uh, total lack of common sense. And in terms of Ron, Roger Wicker, the senator says it shows they have no shame. I just want to do something legal you can do to stop them from wasting taxpayer money and thwarting legislation that had been passed and repurposed for this purpose. Uh, hopefully you'll find something, Senator, before it's too late. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Brian. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox <laughs> News YouTube page to catch... We're facing a lot of the, you know, the woke ideology, a lot of policies that have changed here in San Diego have led us to a place where it's not as safe in San Diego as it once was. You know, we're the nation's you know, greatest city. Keep it classy, San Diego. And we have not done a good job of that over the last few years. I think that it's time for a Republican uh, to step in. And I think um, a lot of people, not just people on the right, are looking for us to get a little back closer to center uh, with our policies here in San Diego. I'm Caitlin Rowe. I'm running for the 49th Congressional District here in California. That would be uh, Upper San Diego County, North San Diego, all the way to South Orange County. And the awesome part is Camp Pendleton is right in the middle, that Marine Corps base there. And being a female uh, Marine Corps veteran, that's a really big deal. There has never been a female Marine in Congress or in the Senate or anywhere else in these you know, upper leadership roles here for the country. So these are some big historic things that could happen if and when uh, I arrive in that seat.
So the area where I'm running is almost 50-50 with registered voters. So it's definitely a winnable seat by a Republican. And certainly I think I have a very good shot at winning that. But, you know, in the upper north region of San Diego, you find a lot of veterans. You know, we have more than a quarter million veterans. And so you have to think that, that the ripple effect of that out to all of their families, there's, there's no one in San Diego that doesn't know a veteran. And the VA, if not a congressional thing, you know, I don't know what is. I will say that the VA is a lot better than it used to be. You know, a lot of people who went 20 years ago, even 10 years ago, and don't want to go back, I would tell them, hey, give the VA another shot. However, that being said, most people waiting for an appointment are waiting three to six months for a basic appointment. They're, they're waiting, like, let's say you need, you need your knee done. Two years from now, you may get your knee done. By then, you may be completely crippled. You know, the, the care level at the VA is not what it needs to be, certainly here in San Diego, but across our nation. With our homeless population, you know, I've been down many times, and, you know, you're walking down there with your kids, you're going to be stepping over drug needles. You could possibly get robbed. If you look at the whole of the country, there is a homeless demic in every state almost. You know, it's not just here in San Diego. It's not just in Portland or Seattle. It's everywhere. I, I get about 100 messages a day from people all over the country that see me on the news talking about it. And they say, can you come to my city and expose my city? Because we're getting the pass just like San Diego was. So I think at the congressional level, federally, I think I can bring some of this, hey, we need to work on this homeless issue all the way to the federal level. And hopefully that will trickle down here to our San Diego community. 99% of people care about safety for their children, for their health, for the border, for the economy. 99% of people care about the same thing. That is what we need to be focused on, not only here in San Diego and Orange County, but as a nation, we need to pull ourselves back together and realize what's actually important. And that's really one of the key reasons that I want to run. I want to bring American back to America. We are the greatest nation. People still want to move here in droves. And all we do as Americans is whine about it. This is how nations fall. Guys, we get too uh, comfortable. We get too apathetic. We're so wealthy that we can't even see. We can't. We got to take our blinders off and look around and realize what we have and that it's worth protecting. Because anybody that says we shouldn't be this America first nation, I'll tell you what, if you're not trying to be first, you're going to end up last. If you don't hold on to first very tight, as tight as you possibly can, you're going to lose it and you're going to end up last. And we're at the brink of that right now. So be careful. Join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the McCad TV family. Please like and share McCad TV. We love you all. Please support McCad TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.